Okay, my friends, um, a lot of people, and including myself, <laughs> want to try to understand what this whole journey has been about. And when I say this journey, I'm talking about mud fossils and the revelations of the ancient things that were written in the past that were just pretty obviously true now. You know, I, I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, I found dragons, I found giants, the giants are DNA certified, I'll show you that in a second. I've discovered mud fossils and they all preserve in such a manner as this. Perfectly preserved and the fascia, the coats, the different organs keeps them separated. Apparently they were in, the, just as they said, a giant flood. And the flood had a certain pH which is approximately what our bodies are, say 7.3. And everything sort of started to stabilize. And, of course, the flesh, a lot of it eroded, it turned into mud and so forth. But then a lot of it didn't erode and turned into actual body parts of creatures, like this goose. That's the patterns of his head, the, pat the feather patterns. That's a goose head, or a duck, or whatever it was. That's where his neck was, right there. Died laying like this. Now, they all appeared to have died in a flat manner. I mean, just totally flat. Like they all died laying flat after they soaked in the salt water, which preserved, you know, stabilized. They were still wet. And then there was creatures on Earth here that were, were sophisticated creatures. They're the ones that built the walls down in Peru and all that stuff. I have absolute certain evidence of that, no question whatsoever, that academia just refuses to pay any attention to anything that validates the ancient texts. Now, there's things that are on top of the ancient texts that nobody ever expected, but are being just overlooked, and no way to overlook them. The only way to, over, to, to, to dismiss it is to just ignore it and to be blind to truth, like this truth. You know, my mud fossil stuff is over the top. It's giants and their DNA certified cat skin, 100%, no question about it. And the light work research I've been doing too proves literally there's ether. And they have no, they don't couldn't care at all. Look, the sun's corona. The material in the corona, extremely hot, very tenuous plasma. Temperature in the corona, more than a million degrees. Way out here, a million, a million. Surprisingly, yeah, no kidding, hotter than the temperature at the sun's surface, which is 6,000. And it's millions out here. A 10-year-old says, no, 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 Daddy, it can't possibly be that hot out there if it's only 6,000 here. No, no, we don't care about that. Forget about it. Same thing with the Earth. The Earth is up like 100 degrees tops. Out here is thousands of degrees in the magnetosphere. Plus, scrubbing through the magnetosphere like that creates our electric field. And the magnet They call it the magnetosphere. It's particles scrubbing against the particles that are in space, which is the ether. There's no other possible reason for it. And they just forget about that stuff. That doesn't mean anything. We don't care about it. Unbelievable. That's, that's science. And, that's, and the peer review says, no, 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 I don't care. It doesn't matter. Because Einstein said, you can't accelerate light. There's no particles in space. Everything's a wave. And Einstein was 100% wrong. So now everything is 100% wrong. And now they even know it. And they still don't care. The Bohr model has been proven 100% wrong. They don't care. Okay, it's Roger, and as you know, I've been having an ongoing issue with academia refusing to allow what they will not allow, even though it's absolutely certainly proven and they will not allow it so they can maintain their status and position and control over everyone. Now, I have shown the DNA and the CAT scans and the specimens and the anatomy and the chemistry of all the mud fossils, and in addition, we ha I never wanted to invade anyone else's territory, but when they started denying me about the mud fossils, I had to go through every bit, all the way to, to the chemistry, to the energy, and I ended up accelerating light. And I was attacked here today, and I said, this is, this is insanity. And here's, here's the story right here. I was attacked here as if I'm a, I'm a moron presenting, I'm, I end up presenting solid evidence showing light accelerating. 
the Bohr model 100% wrong, and they admit it now. They absolutely admit it. And the reason they admit it, because we've been showing the bosons and the black non-reactive particles, which are the bosons, that separate from the accelerated light, which is the fermion white portion that explodes, exactly what the physicists claim to look for. They won't allow it to be talked about because they look like fools, and they really do. You know, if they'd engaged, it would have been fine, but they don't. They want to hide behind what they said and defer to somebody that says, well, no, 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 Einstein said there's no ether, there's no particles, everything's a wave, it goes exact same speed, all nonsense. And it's, and it's backed up by peer review. So they say, oh, no, 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 Einstein said that's not right, so you can't say that. Now, here's what they look for. That look, they look for that black particle, which is just nothing but a, a ball of nothing. It's not to I intervene with anything. It's a cherry ink off radiation. All right? It's a muon, which is a muon neutrino, a tiniest little particle. Then you have the other bit that's attached to it is electron neutrino, and it creates showers. Well, gee, guess what? That's exactly what we have. Those particles came through. They were attached together. They look just like this. When they hit the Venturi, the black part, which is the boson, walked away from the white part, which is it's a muon walked away from the electron neutrino. It's exactly what they say. Exactly it. Muon neutrino event yields a, a well-defined circular ring. That's all. Cherenkov radiation from electron showers produce an electron neutrino event, which a cone and a diffuse. Exactly identical. There it is right there. That's the particle accelerating to go through the Venturi. Now, they own regions like this big. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. And the particle is, is extremely tiny. So when they concuss, I don't know, the black stuff comes back to the white stuff. I don't, that's all I can tell you. They started out like that. And we'll see that. I think I, I know I set up, I made my case pretty good here, I hope. All right, and so there it is. There's a wave accelerating. That was the wave prior to acceleration. This is the acceleration. It's not going to go faster than that, just on its, own, on its own. The only reason it went faster than that is we put a Venturi. Rod Warren discovered that if you put light through a Venturi, it will accelerate, and it did. There it is. If you don't see acceleration, I don't know where your mind is. And you can see the particle is a particle and you can see it starts to take on a white exterior as it crushes into other particles regions now only the white has power that's the strong force and that's these ones these are the white ones there's no black ones in here now none zero these are the electron neutrinos which are over here boom that's these no black ones the black ones are all the way around here on the outside, and when they come back together, they fall in, and they fall back in line. I don't know how that happens. I can't explain that. Now, they may be saying this is dark energy, dark matter, whatever. It doesn't concuss. It has no energetic value. So I guess you would call it dark energy, dark matter. It says it's dark. It doesn't do anything. The other ones explode like hell. I mean, that's just not anything that you can dispute. Where are we going from here? Oh, I guess I'm going out oh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, I know what's it. Got to go back to here. Now, uh, what else did I show here? I guess that's about it. I showed that. Oh, these are the particles. Remember I said here, too? That's them. And that, they, as they, back here you can't really see them. Then they start to glow a little bit, and then they turn into the box because it's starting to concuss, and they get more of a concussion, they get little spikes, and then they just blur out, and that's when they separate the strong from the weak. And we also get them in green. Now, uh, and this is what the uh, Large Hadron Collider does, they take gigantic things like chunks of, like rocks, or bones in this case, and smash them together. They're 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 neutrons. They're they're there is no neutrons and there is no protons. They take they're balls of electrons, which are the smallest they can get them, and then they which is still a ball, thousands of particles, and they come together and you get all that stuff. We're using this. Bingo. 
when we separate that, we separate this from a, a which would be a photon, let's say, it would be this. And we separate the charges. They're just separating chunks, and they can't find the littlest bitsy pieces, although they find maybe one here and there or something. I don't know really what they are finding. But they're digging through a mountain to find a grain of sand. It's insane. And as I showed you, these are the black ones, these are the white ones, and it's right there. Nobody can miss this. It can only be disallowed. And here's what happens. As that ball comes through the air, don't forget now, that's a ball like this big around, and it's coming fast. And all of these are, are glowing now. And you say, well, what is that? Those are free electrons. You say, well, what are they? they can't be free electrons. Yeah, absolutely. Those are the electrons we call heat. If you pulled all those electrons out and it was freezing cold in there, you wouldn't see hard to get. You'd see, you know, you'd see a bunch of them, but you wouldn't see like this. The hotter it is, the more glowing spots they'll be. That is nothing more than heat. Heat is free electrons. That's all it is. Free, and then if, if it's a cold day, and there's not enough, uh, I'm sorry, if it's a dry day, well, cold and dry, the, it, there's not enough water molecules in the air to support these. They will cling to you. That's what static is. They'll say, ooh, ooh let's find something that has water, and, and it's you. <laughs> the air doesn't have the water now. So, boom, they go to you. Then what happens? You go to the ground, and pew! Because the ground will always accept them. And I, this is all electron flood theory. And it's all 100% certain at this point, as far as I'm concerned. Anybody can stand up against it. I want to see them. Absolutely. You know, they know the Bohr model's wrong. This works for every single interaction. And it explains the corona of the sun being millions of degrees and the surface being 6,000. Because we're scrubbing our particles through the particles that are in the ether, which are the particles of light and photons that are spit out from every luminous bottle, body. And they, they concuss. Right? We are rubbing, scrubbing, 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 scrubbing through these particles that are everywhere because they had come from the sun as particles. They're not just nothing. It's, Einstein was wrong about everything. We accelerated light. They are particles. There is ether. That's causing the heat that's scrubbing on our, our um, magnetosphere. It's thousands of degrees out there. It's 100 degrees or less on the surface. And th that's what creates the magnetic interaction is the scrubbing. Any, anybody that has any electronic ability whatsoever should understand this. It's just insanity to think that there's nothing out in a vacuum. There is no vacuum of space. This is the problem. It's because they, you can't stand up against Einstein and all this nonsense that they spewed out. If, 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 if nothing can go faster than the speed of light and everything is going exactly the speed of light, well, that's because of blue shifts and red shifts and all these other things. Well, now all of a sudden, they found out everything's going faster than the speed of light. Planets are going so fast that they're going away from us faster than the speed of light. But that's okay. We don't care about that. We don't care that the corona of the sun is millions of degrees and the surface is 6,000. No explanation for that. No explanation for our magnetosphere. No, no explanation for anything. They just, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Stay with it, Einstein. Do not make up some story. And that's what's happened. All right, these are the kind of things that were just being ignored. You can see there's tractor tank treads here and then wheels that drove this up and they excavated slabs from the sides. And this is a gigantic tendon. It's in Fuerte de Sempiata, Bolivia. And there are many places around the world. And they use these slabs to build those walls that they... Well, I'll show you. Here's another place where the same tendon material and these little white things are mineralizations. See this? It's exactly the same stuff. This is a tendon also, but it petrified in a different manner. All right, here's another place they did. Exact same vehicle, exact same cuts. And they were in different places around the world. But once again, you can see this, this is the, the fibrous material, um, the min mineralization that is inside of these tendons. I, I know them very well. I have, I, let me just show you something. 
I got all of the equipment. I got all of the, the microscopes and 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 all of that stuff. And I did a study, a blood study, and um, on all of the different rocks. And and that I mean they all have like like this here. They, they all have arteries and veins in them, and they all have blood. You see that? You separate the layers, and there's layers of blood. Watch this. You put water on there, and it, almost instantly the blood comes back. You see, it rehydrates. You see that? And that's, you know, I've, I've trust me, I know this stuff inside <laughs> and out. And and I, you know, I had all the DNA stuff done, all that. So this is going to be a very long explanation of this journey because it's been it's been arduous from every single side. This kind of stuff is just ignored. It's just absolutely, they don't, just don't pay any attention like it wasn't even there. This is what kills me. I mean, this is going to be hard. I'm going to maybe go off the rails here and now, here and here uh, on and off, because it's just, it's been a hard thing to show people something that is absolutely certain and just have them turn their eyes away and then denigrate you and, and dismiss you and make you seem like a fool to everyone. And they're the ones that are teaching at Yale and Harvard and their professors are forcing people to pay them and then obey them. <laughs> pay and obey. Ooh, that's a good title. That's what it's going to be. Pay and obey. And dismiss. Amazing. So anyway, they would take these tendons, and that's a tendon, and then they would slice the slabs off, and they'd take them back here and make these walls. Now, I don't know what they were making those walls for. I've heard some people say that they think they were there as, like, ramparts, or whatever you call it, to stop forward movement of troops. I don't know. I know these things were miles and miles and miles tall. And it's just a fact. I'm sorry, undoubtable, no question whatsoever. The dragon in Morocco is almost a thousand, a thousand miles long. It's just gigantic. And, and it, the stuff Tyson has, same sort of stuff. It's everywhere around the world. So we're past that. Now, what happened after that? Apparently, they drowned. Now, I said to myself, how could all these things drown? They're miles and miles tall. They're way taller than these mountains. How could they all have drowned? And then I thought, well, their feet got stuck in the mud, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't have anything to eat, and they would eventually die of starvation. Then, I, someone sent me something not long ago that in the Quran, it says that Allah opened the ovens from heaven and poured it down. And, I, you know, you know, I'm a scientist. I am a, I do all energy, I do space, I do all of that stuff. And we are spinning through space and rubbing our atmosphere against the ether that's in space, which scientists deny, but it's quite obvious. Thousands of degrees out in our magnetosphere. It's only 100 degrees or so on this temperature of Earth. How'd that happen? It's because we're scrubbing as we are spinning and pushing through an arm of the galaxy on the Milky Way. We're ripping through other particles. It's just as simple as friction. Scrubbing, and then because it's our particles which are magnetic against these polar mo molecules which are also have mag magnetic properties, it creates electric fields. That's our magnetosphere. It's as simple as that. Very, very simple. Totally missed and totally dismissed. You cannot bring these things to the attention of academics because they have no attention. They have no attention span whatsoever. They they immediately say, somebody else said that this is something and I have no expertise in this so I'm not going to listen to you. No, they have no expertise in more than one little thing and, and that guy establishes his position. He will never relinquish it no matter who comes along and shows it's wrong. It doesn't matter. They'll never relinquish it. So we can forget the academics. They have 
right? It let us down in every single way. And I, you know, I'm going to keep going back to that a lot because, like I said, this is this has been an arduous journey, and they have been the main opposition to reality and truth is academia. No truth whatsoever there, soever. none whatsoever, couldn't care less. And then be extremely arrogant and dismissive and demeaning and, and relish in their status and wait for their awards and so forth. <laughs> I do have hostility here, <laughs> but I've let it go because I also know that they hate God, and that's the reason. They hate any of this stuff that shows that, you know, all their dead dust to, to living creatures is, is silly, absolutely nonsense. The Big Bang is ridiculous. Everything they've said is wrong. Einstein was totally wrong about everything he said. Light can accelerate, very simple, and it's a particle, extremely obvious. Watch this. <laughs> 